Hello YouTube. Welcome to another video by the Geo Scholar. As you can see, I keep moving this compass. I keep moving it, but as I turn it, the needle is in the same direction. The magnetic field of the Earth is a big role in this. However, there is more you must understand, and there is a geographic component in this, and I will show you. You need to understand the difference between geographic North Pole and magnetic North Pole. Geographic North Pole is at 90 degrees north. That is the furthest north you're going to get on the Earth. Magnetic North Pole is further south in the far north of Canada, right around here. Why do you need to know this? The needle of a compass, it points to magnetic north, not geographic north. It does not point to geographic North Pole, it's pointing to magnetic North Pole. Hence, there's some declination on this compass. And I will get into declination in a moment. The needle of a compass will align itself with the horizontal part of the Earth's magnetic field. The magnetic field pulls the north end of this needle towards magnetic North Pole. And in all of that, you have to understand the difference. Depending on where you are in the Earth, there's going to be some declination with a compass because it's not pointing to geographic North Pole. And now I'm going to get to the declination part. Looks like the declination on this compass is about... 15 degrees west. So that's something you have to consider when you are using your compass out in the woods somewhere. You have to take into account declination. That's the angle of variation between magnetic north and geographic north pole. That's something you must understand. And you must understand that if, if you want to use a compass properly. If you like this video, be sure to leave a comment, be sure to like and subscribe.